What's going on, dreamers, and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a first look at Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Previously, I think uh, I think it was a year or so ago, I, I looked at Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, which was based off of Toy Story 2, obviously. This game is based off of the TV series, which I think was from the early 2000s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I do remember watching this, and uh, I, I don't know if it was I was a huge fan, but... Uh, yeah, it was a it was a TV series, and uh, yeah, this is a game based off of that TV series. So we'll see how this is. Uh, Toy Story 2 was just an okay game, more of a, a cash in than anything. I think the controls weren't so great. It was really hard to figure out what you were supposed to do. So hopefully this one's maybe a little bit more clear at least as to your objectives, which would be really nice. I, I don't care for wandering aimlessly around video games, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it is. Uh, hopefully the controls are a bit better as well. Lightyear. I think these games were both by the same developer. I think they were both developed by Traveler's Tales, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, Buzz. Let's run through some of the basics. So this guy's telling me what to do. I forget what his name is. Any add-ons are going to cost you some Galactic Alliance credits, or GAX for short. Now, Buzz, your mission in each level is to arrest the bad guy. Arrest the you bad can't guy, beat the okay. criminals early. You can only make an arrest at their getaway spot. Buzz, along the way, save as many of the LGMs as you can. Okay. Now, Buzz, your mission in each level is to arrest the bad guy. Simple enough, right? Wrong! You can't arrest the bad guys until you reach their getaway spot. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so I need to arrest the bad guy, but I can't do it before they get to their getaway spot, whatever that is. One thing that's interesting about this game is they actually play the entire TV show intro at the beginning of the game, and you cannot skip it, and it takes about a minute. <laughs> a minute, probably a minute and a half, actually. It was, uh, fairly long. Alright, so I need to capture this guy. Let me just get used to the controls here real, here real quick. Uh, this actually kind of has a cell-shaded look to it. So that actually separates it from the Toy Story 2 game, which was not cell-shaded. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, so I can shoot with the X button. I can strafe with the triggers. And... I don't think anything else does anything. You can move around with the D-pad or the analog stick. Either one works. Alright, let's kill this... ...guy here. I don't know what this is, but it won't let me collect it for whatever reason. Ten coins, I guess? Unless it's saying I need ten coins to grab it, but it looks like a coin, so I don't know. I have zero coins at the moment. So right off the bat, I think the controls are better than Toy Story 2. They seem a lot smoother. In Toy Story 2, the, the controls were kind of twitchy and not very good. This seems to control a lot smoother, which is nice. I don't think I can kill that turret thing. It doesn't seem to be sustaining any damage when I shoot it, so... Oh, I can just hold down the X button and he automatically shoots. Okay, that's good to know. Health pick up. Uh, okay, I got a shield. So those bubble things are, are power-ups, I guess. Oh, that's sweet. It's like a electricity lightning gun thing. It actually auto-targets enemies as well, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even played much of this game so far, and I can tell you right off the bat, this is so much better than Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 just felt like a really generic cash-in platformer. But this actually has some originality to it. It's, uh, it's got some power-ups. It's got a nice look to it. Controls well. Quite impressed so far. I love this lightning gun. I don't know if it runs out at any point. 
Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I, I can see in the bottom right, it says I have 46 ammo. So it will run out eventually. I like this, uh, hoverboard thing. That's cool. It actually took me a, a minute to notice the hoverboard. <laughs> I'm just taking a look at other things around me. I'm trying to take all the, uh, the scenery in here. I can't aim up, which is a bit of a problem when this robot is up in the air. Ooh, he's got a spread shot. I want that. I don't know how he died. Did they just keep respawning? I think they might just keep respawning over and over again. Oh, I am out of ammo. Uh, can I switch weapons? Okay, the B button switches weapons. This is my normal laser blaster thing. Oh, and there's my electricity gun. Ooh, I can get more ammo for that right there. Oh. Oh, that's a teleport. Okay. <laughs> I want to go back, though. I want ammo for my, for my gun. Oh, I can't go back. Well, I guess I'm stuck with 53 ammo. It's all right. I'm sure I'll survive. It doesn't seem like too difficult of a game so far. I mean, I imagine both this and Toy Story 2 are both targeted towards a younger audience, obviously. So difficulty level shouldn't be too high. Wait, is this where I came from? Because I got the hoverboard again. I'm just gonna surf through this entire thing. I'll tell you, there is a lot going on in this game, that's for sure. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> Guy kind of just smashed everything. That's cool. Um, am I shooting? No, I'm out of ammo. I wish it would automatically switch back to my main weapon if I run out of ammo. Instead of just leaving me with uh, an empty gun. Did I die? I guess I must have died. Yep, mission failed. There's, uh, what's his name? Zord, I think, is his name? I'll try that again, I guess. Hopefully I'll do a bit better. Here, here I was, just finishing up saying how easy this game was. But to be honest, I wasn't really paying too much attention to my health bar, so... <laughs> I was assuming I wasn't losing much health. Yeah, so I can't damage him until he gets to his... What was it? Extraction point or, or whatever that guy said? Okay, I can pick up that thing now. I couldn't before. I don't know why. This gun's pretty decent as well. It's not it's not as good as my lightning gun, but I'll take it. I don't know what that does. When I pick it up, it, it puts a fuel tank up at the top right there. Is that a, like a jet? Oh, it's a jetpack. All right, so if I use the A button, I can go up in my jetpack. So that must be how I get the enemies that are that are up in the air. Okay, cool. Oh, I got my lightning gun again. Nice. Oh, I like this. I like being able to fly around on the jetpack. That's cool. I know I've said the word cool a lot in this game so far, in this video. <laughs> but uh, there are a lot of cool things in this. So much better than Toy Story 2. I'm impressed. I don't know if this game came out after Toy Story 2. I would assume it did, considering they were both by the same developer. And this one is a heck of a lot more polished than Toy Story 2 was. I'm guessing they learned a few things from that first game. So I seem to be doing pretty decent so far. Excuse me. <laughs> Hitting a lot of things, but... Oh, I caught up to that guy, so can I just go past him? I'll wait for him to, uh, to get to the exit, I guess. I'm just zooming past everything. Hopefully I don't need to actually do anything specific before I get to the end. Yeah, 
you smash the turrets for me. Thanks, pal. So the hoverboard can't go in the water. I lost it last time I went into the water. Oh, I lost it anyway. I, maybe it ran out of fuel. Alright, so this must be the end. More lightning gun ammo. I got this one, Buzz. Man, your face is really creepy. <laughs> I saw him up for you, Buzz. Thanks, Mira. Always willing to lend a helping hand. This is a better looking game than the first one, but I, I still can't say the, the character models are fantastic. Alright, so this is, I assume, a bit of a, a boss battle thing. Ooh, what's this? This is a new gun. Wait, that's like my default gun. Maybe it shoots faster? Where'd this guy go? I can't find him. <laughs> is he taking any damage? He's still got that shield bubble around him, so... I don't know if there's something specific I need to do, or... No, he is taking damage. Never mind. It didn't seem like he was. Let me get my electricity gun out. I like that better. So you can move the camera. Well, not really. You, you strafe with the trigger buttons. Oh, cool. I killed him. I was getting a bit worried there. I disappeared as well. I thought I died. Standing job, Rangers. You can always count on us, sir. You can always count on us, sir. Alright, so mission one completes. See if it gives, I don't know if it gives me any sort of ranking. I guess that medallion is, is a ranking. Is that gold or bronze? I don't know. I think it's gold. I mean, I completed the level pretty quickly, so... I imagine I, I did pretty good rank-wise. Alright, I'm not gonna listen to him this time. He, he rambles on too much. Chase the bad guy. Flamar 1. Buzz, does it have to come to this? There's only room Man. in my life for one The faces on these characters are so creepy. No one refuses me. Wait, is this? Oh, okay. I thought I was fighting her right off the bat. I was about to say, this is different. Alright, so I got a hovercraft this time. Instead of a hoverboard. Getting upgrades. Oh, I can't take that. Oh, okay. So I noticed the the coin does pulse when I go up against a bubble I can't collect or a, a power up. So you do need a certain amount of of tokens or, or coins in order to actually pick up the power ups, which is kind of a cool idea. It uh, gives you more incentive to grab tokens or coins because obviously most platformers coins are kind of a secondary objective. You get points for grabbing them, and usually when you get a hundred of them, you get an you get another life, but, uh... In this one, you actually use them as a currency. So you can buy power-ups with them. So that's pretty original. Okay, so there are hoverboards as well. So the hoverboards and the hovercraft, I guess, are kind of considered power-ups. I don't know why those platforms say five on them. Does that mean if I have coins, I can use those ramps? This is a very dangerous landscape to be hoverboarding around. <laughs> Jeez, there's so much going on. Okay, okay, cool. I got some uh, jetpack fuel. Where am I going? I guess this way. Yeah, so another thing I noticed about this versus Toy Story 2 is this game is definitely a lot more linear. Toy Story 2 had more of an open map where you could just go around, explore, and, and find what you need to find. But, of course, that was one of the problems I had with Toy Story 2 is maybe it was a bit too open because I had no idea where to go. I think I like the more linear uh, path to this game. I don't know what kind of gun this is. Like a wind gun? It doesn't seem very effective. Oh, I still got my, uh, spread shot thing. I 
I think I lost my... Wait, it says I have jetpack fuel, but... Oh, I don't actually have a jetpack. I think I need to pick one up. I have fuel, I just don't have the jetpack. Um... What happened? Did I die? I died! I don't know how I died, I was just walking. I don't think I got hit with anything. That was weird. Alright, let me try that one more time. I'm, I'm kind of being a bit careless. I'm not really uh, trying to complete these levels perfectly by not getting hit. <laughs> I'm basically just taking taking every bullet that comes my way. Alright, back on the hover bike. I'm just gonna kinda try and do a speed run here. Can't grab any power-ups because I don't know how many coins. Here's a coin. I can grab that. Nope, that's 20. Never mind. I'm poor. I can't afford power-ups. I can't afford a hoverboard, though. Yeah, so I assume these jumps you can't take unless you have tokens. You gotta buy everything in this game. It's like a microtransaction game. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear of Star Command did microtransactions before any game of the modern era. So there's some jetpack fuel, even though I still don't have a jetpack. Although you might need fuel for the hoverboard and the hovercraft as well, I'm not sure. What do you do? Is that a checkpoint, maybe? I don't think it's a checkpoint, because every time I've died, it, it just throws me back to the main menu. So I don't think there are checkpoints. Unless I just missed all the checkpoints before? I don't think so, though. The alien did go on the top left of the screen. It says I have three of them. So is that lives? Like I said, every time I've died, I've just gone back to the main menu, so I don't think I've ever actually had additional lives. Man, there are a lot of enemies in this hallway. I'm running a bit low on health. I don't know why I'm trying to shoot her. I know I can't kill her yet. Can I grab the alien? Oh, maybe I did grab him. Man, I Man, I almost fell off there. I wanted to grab that health back there, but... Why? Okay. <laughs> so it comes down to battle time. A fight. I'm afraid so, Gravitina. Unless you'd like to surrender peacefully. I'm afraid not, darling. I remember, um, Tim Allen didn't actually voice Buzz Lightyear for the TV series. I don't know who did it. But it wasn't him. Doing this video now is, is a bit uh, appropriate since uh, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but uh, the new Buzz Lightyear movie should be either out or coming out soon. Look, relevant content on the channel. <laughs> Which is uh, not something I can say too often for a Dreamcast channel. Do I have any better guns? I have, no, I don't want that. I just have my wind gun thing, which is kind of sucky. Kind of better off strafing her. Am I hitting her? I don't know if I'm doing any damage. I am hitting her. Yeah, I am doing damage. Okay. She's got a lot of health, though. Is she just gonna stand there and take it? <laughs> She's not doing a whole lot to defend herself. Alright, whatever. I think the enemy AI is a bit, uh, it's time leaves a bit to be desired. Worlds. You cannot bend the will of men. Gravitina, you're a very, very 
evil lady, but somewhere there's a fellow who thinks evil and a great big cat are just about the best things a girl could have. All right, I'm not gonna watch the whole cutscene. I'm guessing these cutscenes are from the actual TV series. So, uh, possible copyright claim on this video. <laughs> I got another uh, gold star. That's cool. I'm still assuming that's gold and not bronze. It looks like gold to me. Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really liking this game. It is so much better than Toy Story 2. Uh, I am glad they uh, they learned a few lessons from uh, from their first game, assuming this came out after Toy Story 2, which I'm pretty sure it did. But yeah, I mean, improved graphics, still not the greatest looking game, but it looks better than the first game. It has some nice kind of cell shaded graphics. Uh, the music's pretty good in this game, I gotta say. I actually um, was listening to some of the soundtrack uh, earlier this week, and uh, it's actually really good. Some really good uh, music in this game. Uh, but the gameplay's good, the controls are good, and uh, yeah, I, I like this game so far. So, yeah, recommended from what I've played so far. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.